What is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. So yesterday Bungie rolled out a new update for the matchmaking system in Destiny across all playlists in the Crucible. I think save for uh, Trials of Osiris. So the uh, goal of this matchmaking update was to essentially prioritize connection over everything else. So skill is less of a factor and having smooth games is more of a factor. I think ultimately the goal here was that um, basically we would have a combination of two things happen. A, we would see a lot less laggy uh, you know, lobbies. And that was my experience so far. I have actually, I mean I haven't played a ton, I had to work yesterday and today. But um, I did get to play some of the matchmaking, I played several games, and across several games I had zero connection issues. Uh, I'd be interested to see what uh, your experience has been like so far. Uh, like I said, mine's been limited so far, but what I have experienced has been really positive. And uh, basically, I've seen mostly green bars. I've only had one lobby that had a red bar in it, and he was on my team, so I don't know what he was like. I never came up against him. But uh, every enemy that I've come up against so far has been spot on in terms of connectivity. So. That is a plus. That's definitely a good thing. Now the other thing I think they wanted to have happen with this update is that across the boards you would generally experience a little bit more casual crucible. So instead of consistently being placed in lobbies where everyone is equal or higher skill level than you and uh, using the best stuff in the game, I think instead of experiencing that, the goal is that you would have you'd have that sometimes. And you may get steamrolled from time to time because the matchmaking just happens to put you up against a full team of, of really solid players. They just happen to have the best connection and, and you got paired with them. But for the most part, you're also going to be experiencing games where it's really casual, where you may have landslide victories and things of the sort. And uh, you may have games where it's just really evenly matched and you have all kinds of different skill levels represented. Uh, in your team and in the enemy team and that's been my experience so far I've had a lot of really close games but you have a combination of maybe one guy on the enemy team that's like incredibly good uh, some that are mediocre and and some that are really inexperienced and then I'm experiencing the same thing on my team so what that's doing for me is it's creating an atmosphere at least for me personally that's just so much more relaxing uh, I've had a lot of fun so far going into the crucible with this new matchmaking update and, uh, you know, I've, ha I've been landslide, uh, you know, completely obliterated uh, in one of the matches that I got into. It was, I was the only guy on my team who had more than one kill, <laughs> but uh, that just happens. And, you know, what? And I, I wasn't upset about it because I had come out of two games back to back that were extremely fun and low key. So I wasn't, you know, I couldn't be really too mad about that. I was like, ah, whatever. That's eh, a loss. NBD, man. <laughs> so... I think that this is a good thing, personally. I think it's a good thing because uh, you're going to have less consistent, frustrating games. And that's what Crucible has been for the longest time, has been with the skill-based matchmaking. You're just constantly uh, trying your hardest to go positive, to, to come out with a win. And that's good. I mean, it's good to, to have to do that. But every single game having to do that can actually get really tiring and frustrating. So being in a Crucible that caters towards someone who wants to be able to play casually and have some fun from time to time. That's great. So I'm enjoying it so far. I've pulled out some blue weapons, I've pulled out some green weapons, I've uh, run with some subclasses I don't typically run with, and uh, I've experienced a lot of success and a lot of fun. I think this is going to be a, a good change for the Crucible, and I'm really looking forward to seeing how it's going to play out. Um, in my matches so far that I've played, it honestly felt to me very reminiscent of Year One Crucible before uh, the Thorn Last Word era, uh, the, the sort of pre-Thorn Last Word, um, you know, meta that we got into, and that's that's a good thing because th those were honestly some of the matches that I enjoyed the most uh, when I was playing in Year One. And that's honestly, that's when I got into making content on YouTube. It was because I was having so much fun with the Crucible, and I wanted to share that fun. And uh, not to say that I haven't been having fun in the Crucible before this update, I definitely was. And you guys know that. You've seen my content. You know I've always enjoyed the Crucible. But from time to time, it's good to be able to just sit back and relax and play some casual Crucible. And it feels like casual Crucible hasn't really been on the table for a while. 
So really enjoying it. I'd be really interested to hear what your guys' experiences have been so far. If your experience has been much like mine or if you've kind of experienced the opposite. I know one of the concerns that I've heard is that this new update is really going to affect um, inexperienced players in a really negative way. The highly skilled players are going to enjoy it because they're going to get more casual matches where they can pub stomp, etc., things of the sort. But then people uh, lower on the skill uh, spectrum are going to have a really hard time because they're more consistently going to be put up in these lobbies where they just can't compete. Uh, now, I can't speak to that because... Uh, and this isn't me bragging, but I, I'm not inexperienced. I'm not new to the Crucible. I'm not new to the game. So I, don't, I can't speak from the perspective of someone who's uh, low on that end. But uh, that being said, I know that my wife, who's very inexperienced in the Crucible, from time to time will sign in and play some matches with some friends. And she really struggles to get kills. And that was in skill-based matchmaking. Uh, that, was, that was even uh, when it was sort of focused on, on the skill priority. And, uh, and she was still really struggling. So, I don't know. I, I think that maybe this, it would be maybe no different, if not better, uh, even for someone on that end of the skill gap for various reasons. Because now they're at least going to have people in their lobbies who can help carry and compete. And uh, honestly, having a good player on your team can help you get more kills. You get team fires, things of the sort, as you apply pressure as a team. But anyways, these are some of my scoreboards getting stuff, you know, uh, where I'm landslide way above everyone else, and that's fun. But at the same time, I'm getting in lobbies where I'm the only guy getting kills, and we get landslide just just demolished. But but either way, I'm really enjoying it. It's a lot of fun. So let me know what your experience has been, guys. We'll catch you in the crucible.